just got our hands on court documents in a disturbing case out of Tampa. A female youth employee at a Florida juvenile justice facility is accused of sexual contact with a teenage boy in exchange for the use of her cell phone. Our John Thomas spent all morning looking into this report. He joins us now live from Tampa with the latest. Good afternoon, John. Good afternoon. This is Riverside Academy behind me. This is allegedly where everything happened. Now, I want to mention this is an ongoing investigation. As of yet, no one has been charged. Uh, all the allegations come out of this affidavit. And when you read through this, uh, there's some things in here I can't possibly repeat. And I can tell you, it really turns your stomach. The Riverside Academy, a Florida Department of Juvenile Justice facility. It provides housing and support for male youths between 14 and 18 years old who may be struggling with substance abuse issues. According to this affidavit of support of a search warrant, a 34-year-old employee, Vivian Hernandez Trejo, was identified by one of the young residents here as the person he became sexually involved with, trading sexual favors at times for which he received permission to use her cell phone while at the facility. The affidavit goes on to say that when a Tampa police detective showed up to question Ms. Trejo at her home in Gibsonton and informed her they were going to seize her cell phone as evidence, a fight ensued, and Ms. Trejo's arm was broken. And according to the affidavit, she was said to be yelling at her kids to get the cell phone and destroy it. The affidavit states that Ms. Trejo was employed by G4S Security, the company that was contracted to manage Riverside Academy. G4S is the same company that managed the Avon Park Youth Facility, where riots erupted in August of 2013. Once again, I want to mention and I want to emphasize this is an ongoing investigation, and as of now, no one has been charged. In Tampa, John Thomas, ABC Action News.